What up Blockchain Nation, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. So quickly, uh, this video is just a quick walkthrough about Hyperledger Bisu. Uh, now why Bisu in my opinion is really important, a really important project with the Hyperledger Foundation uh, is because well, in, my be in the beginning, starting out as a blockchain developer, I was conflicted between learning about Hyperledger Fabric and uh, Ethereum. I've done a video about this, with the difference between building ap applications in Hyperledger Fabric and also in Ethereum. Um, Hyperledger Fabric, more or less focuses on building enterprise applications that run in a private network and uses a different tech stack as opposed to what BC uses. So uh, Ethereum on the other hand is for building public obviously public applications that run on the Ethereum mainnet and they use different technology. So Hyperledger, Hyperledger Fabric is a Hyperledger as a whole. The Hyperledger Foundation is a great project but trying to learn or, or conflict I was conflicted personally between learning which to learn in both but um, I think why BISU is important is it allows you to build private applications or enterprise applications that run on the Ethereum client and you can also you rebuild private applications as well. So the same tech stack that you use for building on Ethereum, you can also use that to build private applications and I'll get into all that which is awesome in my opinion. So this is a talk by uh, on the Hyperledger Fabric channel or the Hyperledger channel. Um, by a lady from Consensus, I'll just look for that, and it's Grace Hartley, and so I got these slides from this talk, so you can watch the entire talk, but it's a, it's something that well, really detailed explains this whole Hyperledger BISU project, so this is Grace Hartley, and you can get the slides also from there, but just at a high level, this is the Hyperledger Foundation, and these are the projects of the Hyperledger Greenhouse, the Hyperledger project is part of um what's it part of it's part of linux foundation and so these are the different projects the different distributed ledgers we have borrow we have fabric we have indie Europa, and sawtooth and here is bisu here and this is what i talked about initially about fabric i've done a video about the difference between hyperledger fabric and ethereum in the past so this is hyperledger bisu just to be at a high level it's an enterprise client for uh, and for it's an Ethereum client for enterprise applications. It's the first blockchain product accepted by the Hyperledger group that could uh, run on a public blockchain, or at least it could run on Ethereum blockchain. So it can be used as an Ethereum client on mainnet, and it can be used to set up a private blockchain as well. So this is the history of Ethereum and Hyperledger. Ethereum was announced, uh, consensus was formed, Pegasus, which is a group on the consensus, and then Pythian was launched. Now Pythian is eventually what became Bisu, as you can see. This was when Hyperledger was founded, Consensus joined, Fabric, Sawtooth, Borrow, and these other projects were admitted. I'll just show you those real quick. Here we have Borrow, we have Fabric, we have Sawtooth, we have Borrow. And then eventually what was Pentheon became Bisu, which is uh, what we have today. So Hyperledger, Bisu highlights and joining Hyperledger, they have, they have 40 releases in the past four minor updates, 60 contributions to the code base, presented at the end of the first Hyperledger Global Forum and Enterprise Needs for permissioning, privacy, performance and finality. So here's what uh, Bisu gives us, it gives us a high performance enterprise, uh, has different needs from different users and a peer-to-peer -peer network, enterprise needs ultimately fall into four categories when it comes to blockchain technology. So just at a high level, Bisu allows us to build applications or enterprise-based applications that run on the Ethereum mainnet and you can also build private applications as well which is what makes it great so this is a deep drive dive into this I won't bore you to all that but this is the most important aspect of it is a full implementation of the Ethereum protocol and it's going to be used to run many nodes on Ethereum mainnet uh, benefits of the public chain network effects of main community cutting edge innovation and it also allows you to do have privacy as well so Privacy and BC keep transactions private between involved participants. Other participants cannot access the transactions content of this list of participants. So what that means is that as much as you can also interact with the interior mainnet, that allows companies to build private blockchains between each other. Uh, we'll go into all that, whether it's by building a loyalty program or whether it's by building applications that are more private, but it still allows you to have those features that Fabric gives you to build a, fabric, a private blockchain but at the same time, you can also build clients that run Ethereum mainnet, which is what is very interesting about this. So just to go over this, you can look at the documentation that announces Hyperledger Bisu. It talks about the consensus algorithm for Hyperledger Bisu, proof of work, 
and um, at a high level it just shows you how the wallet works and um, yeah this is something that we can look at but here's something I want just to talk about which is the applications or use case of Hyperledger P2 so this is a good application in case of loyalty programs so as you can see a loyalty program it kind of like well I'm not sure you know what it is but just in case you don't it means that imagine if you shop at Amazon all the time and every time you're shopping at Amazon Amazon rewards you by giving you points each time you buy stuff. So this is today I buy a t-shirt, today I buy a card, today I buy whatever it is I buy on Amazon. The more stuff I buy, the more points it begins to reward me with because I am a loyal customer. And so as you, as you can see, a loyalty program application was built using Bisu. So you can see you can get programs like corporation support for getting new customers, keep customers, encourage spending and direct purchase, purchasing choices. This is a benefit or what it is that it entails. So um, this is a real world use case where a customer, a loyalty program that is based on blockchain was built and this was built using Bisu. Single port of access, visible on multiple showcases, possibilities for partners broadening their own customer base with new clients. So the fact that this was built using Bisu is uh, very impressive in my opinion. So one other feature about Bisu is that yeah, so it's used for people who set up dApps on Ethereum and for large companies who want to build a supply chain uh, uh, a finance application who want to create a decentralized distributed um, storage repository so 100 comparable with compatible with ethereum which is very important so uh, you can use normal ethereum um, tools like ganache and the rest as you can see so truffle ganache truffle is more of a uh, use for developing um, smart contract applications it's used as a for t is a testing framework and then one other aspect of this truffle suite is ganache so ganache allows you to create a, a local personalized blockchain that you can run locally that you can use to test and deploy your smart contract so um at, on bisu as well you can create your own local blockchain but going back to using truffle like i mentioned in the beginning that if you can be if you're building uh, applications for the ethereum mainnet which is public facing you can use those same tools and you can also use these tools to create a uh, private enterprise application so use case for truffle i'll just go over one of them so as you can see with truffle uh, starbucks built an ethereum blockchain with jenkins uh, jenkins is just a tool that you use for continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, kubernetes azure uh, which is a cloud platform so Starbucks wants to provide their customers with more transparency while creating financial opportunities for their coffee bean farmers. So Starbucks wants to provide, uh, this is this, so the solution was to launch a pilot program with selected coffee farmers to develop a blockchain based system to share real-time information along the journey of coffee beans and open up potential financial opportunities for coffee bean farmers at the other end. So this was a great use case where Starbucks used the Truffle Suite to build a blockchain application and Microsoft has one with World Bank. And you can see another story where Xbox used the Truffle Suite. So they partnered with Ernest & Young to build, develop a royalty payment system, so which is cool. What I mentioned before about a royalty program using Bisu, and uh, in this case here. So yeah, so you can explore Hyperledger more. This is a course by the Lion Foundation that gives a brief history of the Hyperledger Bisu when it was launched. And you can walk through this program or through this course by Hyperledger Foundation that gives you at a very high level just explains how uh, how it works how you can set up a uh, how you can set up Bisu locally on the machine where you can launch Bisu and then you can connect to the mainnet so this is a video you can watch the Linux Foundation really oversees the Hyperledger projects and Hyperledger projects um, under one of those one of those projects is Hyperledger Bisu and you have Fabric and you have a host of others so you can also go back to this document and it's a good talk that was done by lady from consensus and um, so at a high level fabric is a great project ethereum is wonderful as a developer if you are conflict as to what project or what tech stack to work on to focus on she focus on building on hyperledger fabric and a lot of great projects and use cases and great developers out there that build on fabric or do you want to build and focus on using ethereum that's also a great way to go but bisu brings that together because you can build smart contracts you can write applications that, and develop use cases or enterprise applications that enterprises can use that are permissioned and that are private 
still using your blockchain stack or you can also build real 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 world interact with real world ethereum clients on the main nets and get even ethereum nodes that are built with bisu so that's the great thing it's a layer between two and i think it's a great and exciting project lastly you can also um the same way you can use ganache to run a local blockchain with ganache you can also use bisu to create to interact with test nets like um, um Rekabi, I forget, my brain just had a freeze. Robstein and the rest, so. Anyways, that's all I have. Till next time, my wish for you is that you learn more about blockchain technology because blockchain is changing and will change the world. And those who get involved early, in my personal opinion, will impact the future. And I believe that's you. That's what you do. If you would like to create more awareness for your brand or content, or you would like to earn additional income, register now on www.cliki.com. The more you share, the more you earn. Cliquey.